I bring her home, she ratchet. Yeah. The itty bitch, you know she nasty. Yeah. I'm putting Chanel on the back. What's good, YouTube? And welcome to another video of Put Your Game. And in today's video, we're actually going to be speaking about the ESA brothers on how they were able to acquire Asda on a 6.8 billion payout. What kicked off their career within the petrol industry was they formed a company called the EG Group, which stands for Euro Garages. So they actually purchased their first petrol station in 2001 after they've saved up 150k. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a background on how eventually the ESA brothers, Mohsin and Zuba, were able to acquire Asda and how successful they were in acquiring so many shares and stake in small and medium businesses over the years. So from their first business investment of purchasing the petrol station in 2001, over the years they formed some great relationships with big companies such as Subway and Starbucks and they were actually purchasing so many franchises of those two companies around the UK. So they were expanding so much and they were doing so well that in 2015 they caught the attention of the private equity companies such as TDR Capital. Now for those who don't know, TDR Capital is a huge private equity investment, investing firm where they pretty much invest into small and medium businesses and also as well Fortune 100 companies. So TDR Capital noticed that the ESA brothers are going places and they're purchasing so many businesses so they also wanted a slice of a pie so they, sh they actually invested millions into having a little small share into the EG group that is owned by the ESA brothers. For their first venture together they acquired a Dutch retail group called Intervias who were then later on to be renamed to EG group. And then further, in November 2017, the ESA brothers and TDR Capital went to purchase over 1,000 gas stations from Esso in Germany. And then in early 2018, around January, February, the ESA brothers went to acquire over 800 Kroger convenience stores that was worth 2.1 billion. And then just a couple of months later, having great relationships, they went to purchase another thousand gas stations uh, of Esso in Italy. And then around the end of 2018, around November, the ESA brothers purchased around 540 convenience stores of Woolworths that was worth around 1.7 billion. And then a month later, around December, January 2019, the ESA brothers were acquire around 250 mini mart stores for worth 330 million and then coming towards the end of 2019 the ESA brothers actually came to agreement to actually buy out the company Cumberland Farms and then around beginning of 2020 that's when the ESA brothers having their company the EG group they were actually able to become one of the number ones franchise owners for KFC in the UK and in Ireland and what made them the number one franchise holders for KFC was the fact that they owned over 150 KFC chains around the UK and in Ireland. And then in 2019, the brothers actually announced that they're going to be opening up over 150 bakery chains with partnering up with a company called Cinnabon. It's actually estimated that they will have around 240 bakery chains with Cinnabon by 2025. So as you can see, over the years, the two brothers have literally started off with one petrol station in 2001 and then up until today having multiple, multiple businesses under their company, the EG Group. And what gave them a bigger break breakthrough was when they partnered up with TDR Capital. Now it's no brainer that eventually they were going to lead up to making an agreement to purchase Asda on a 6.8 billion payout with the TDR Capital in October. So that's just my take on the ESA brothers on how they inspired me in order to keep grinding and become the investor that I wish to become by building good relationships and just being able to just purchase multiple businesses that will eventually lead to you purchasing a business that was here way before your time. So that's just my take on the ESA brothers on how they were able to acquire Asda. Make sure you like, subscribe and stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to keep putting out these bangers on entrepreneur and business.